What's going on guys? Stock Jock here. Up about 11.37 on the day. I think I'm going to hang up the hat for the rest of the day, but I just wanted to go over the trades that I did. It has been a really slow month. It started off good, but then it's just a bit like the momentum has disappeared on these low flow stocks under $10. And today, life has come back into, hopefully, I should say, life has come back into these stocks with the run of our uh, with the run of RGSE, but anyway, we'll get to that. So out of the gate, I was watching ARRY. There's nothing hitting the scanners. There's no gap play that I was really interested in. There's no low flow under $10 stock that had any news out there. So I was kind of just watching ARRY for a continuation play. Um, here you can see the daily yesterday. It was just complete beast mode. And then today it opened, it gapped up out of the open. So what I was kind of thinking is, is it gapped up. I was thinking it would sell off and fill this gap. And then maybe we'd get this pop back up in the, in this direction. Maybe some support would come in around here yesterday's close. So that's what I was kind of looking for. So you can see as soon as it opened up today, it sold off. It was gapped up high and you know, you got to expect sellers are going to come in and take profits. I was kind of hoping this would dip a little bit lower to try to maybe reach yesterday's high and fill that gap completely out of the open down to around 665 ish but it only got to about 680 but that was fine the setup was decent and i was looking for the five minute candle over candle and i was going to play that and that's what i did i got in right in here at 950 uh, the price was six 91 in the anticipation of this, you know, 695 break of sell volume starting to come in. It's right in here somewhere. Yeah, right here we started moving back up. And so I went long at 690, basically 692. It popped up, was really hoping for the seven break, and it eventually did, but not kind of where I was getting comfortable. I mean, we were already down, so the trend for the day so far was down. And it was my first trade. And like I said, up to this point, momentum has just not been there recently. So I was just going to take my profit and run. I got out at 696 for basically four cents, 80 bucks. Um, it did get up to six or 708, but it just kind of scared me with this red candle right here. It's on the one minute chart because it could have easily gone like this and then come back down and really filled that gap that I was kind of anticipating. Uh, but I was playing the five minute candle here and you know, 80 bucks, I'll take it. So RGSE was the next stock and this one kind of got moving because of a chat room, to be honest, one of the chat rooms I'm in, they bought it, which brought momentum into the stock. As you can see, it's kind of like, it's really sold over, sold off on the daily here and it's starting to curl back up and it's got room. It's got room up to the 200, you know, for sure. There's other moving averages in here, but I only have the 200 up. But um, the chat room I'm in, but the chat room I'm in, they decided to go long in it, which brought a lot of volume in. Uh, I think they went long right in here, and it really brought volume in. It, it started hitting other people's scanners, which brought more people in. And the chat room I was in actually sold uh, in the three dollar range, I believe, like right right through here on this dip. And that's when I felt comfortable of actually watching f to go long myself because I didn't want to get in, you know, knowing that that whole chat room was in and they were going to sell. I, I don't want to be up here. I don't want to be in up here knowing that a, bu a big group of people that started this move is going to sell soon. So I waited till they sold. They sold and I decided to make a play at 1020. And um, this thing was just moving really fast. So I decided to play the one minute chart here. So I was gonna play the one minute chart on this just because we were having this huge move and you know, I didn't wanna wait for a five minute pullback. We were just, a lot of volume was coming in, a lot of buying. So when that's happening, I do still wanna play some sort of a pullback. I don't wanna really just buy running up because you never know if you're gonna buy the top. So we had a, a pop, a pullback, pop and a pullback and I was going to play the one minute candle over candle and that's what I did right here we saw the pullback 
small little candle here and then boom as soon as that happened i got long at 388 and it popped up i sold for 393 <laughs> not much but uh, obviously you can see it just took off from there so after that huge run up we broke i mean it, it looked like it was just going parabolic and it looked like it was in a halt and it was just pinned at 567 i thought it was going to halt i'm not in it at this point but then it just sold really hard and it was really really interesting to watch the l2 on this because any other time it just it would have it would have halted i don't know why it didn't but regardless a lot of people got trapped up here and it sold off really hard but i was watching it and i was going to play the one minute candle again so it sold off hard actually came back down below five and i was hoping to get maybe a curl right here and that's what happened we got a little bit a little bit of a curl so i played the candle over candle in the one minute when you do that it's it's a more aggressive place and it's usually going to move much faster so you've really got to be able to exit just as fast as you're entering so uh, the high here was 491 so i was looking for basically a 491 break i got in at 493 it popped over five which is exactly what i was looking for and i sold at 508 for a nice little win there on 3,000 shares. I took 3,000 shares there. So my next play was KTOV. This was a pure news play. You can see here that news came out on KTOV two hours ago, but it was first reported by Benzinga. Benzinga is the news source I listen to mostly. I have a link down in the description if you're interested in using it. I made a lot of money on this today just because of that news source so as you can see flat on the day nothing going here's the daily okay so really nothing special about the daily nice little curl here after a pop nothing going on the day and then boom news happens so when the news came out i heard it i know this stock is a former runner it really can pop i mean look at these moves there's some pretty huge moves in here on the daily look at that guy so I know the stock can move both ways, up and down, but this had positive news. So I jumped in real quick at 344 right when I heard the news. I got over here as soon as I heard the news. It was only up mm, like 15 cents at that point, so I felt comfortable jumping in right away. It's a low float stock. He traded is only showing 7 million shares, and it was only up 15 cents, and not a lot of volume had come in yet. And knowing also that RGSE just ran crazy beast mode, so people are looking for that next runner. So I felt comfortable getting in at 344, and sure enough, volume started coming in. This thing started popping, started going up, started getting a little chop through here, but I sold uh, 2,000 shares of my 3,000. I bought 3,344 right here, right in this level. And I sold at 357 and 363, right through here, as the as as it moved up. A nice win for me. Pure news play. I pay uh, like a hundred bucks a month maybe for Benzinga, some somewhere around there. I don't know. I can't remember. And this play alone paid for. I mean, what is that? An average of 15, 16 cents on 3,000 shares. Like, that's, that's a nice chunk of change. I'll take that all day long. This move right here paid for itself for a little bit of time, a few months at least. So, very happy with this trade. So, I tried to get back into RGSE. This is one that I definitely was going to watch. I mean, we just had this massive move, and now we're setting up for the five minute candle over candle. And I played it right, but uh, we have the pop here, obviously, come back down, and then right through here as we made the break of this candle or inside this one I went long and I went long at five dollars but I only got a fill of 145 shares so I uh, didn't really make a killing off of this so once I saw that I only got filled for 145 shares I sold immediately I got out at 509 it would have been a really nice win but after commissions I only made like three bucks on that trade if it was a full 2,000 shares like I was hoping, you know, that would have been $180. Easy. 
uh, just going candle over candle for this other move. But sometimes you get filled, sometimes you don't. So AERI, this is one that I've been watching for a few days now, ever since this huge pop over here. Uh, the daily looked really good for a nice setup today, and I missed the real move that I was looking for. So as you can see on the daily, you know, it gapped up huge that one day with some news, came back down, but the next day it popped back up, you know, a little bit of selling. And then as we broke through this level here, we got this nice flag pattern. I mean, that's, that's just textbook right there on the daily. So not really a flat top, but definitely a flag. And you can see the supports getting higher and the resistance is slightly going up as well. You know, that's a pretty nice, pretty nice pattern there. So I was anticipating the breakout somewhere, you know, in this level around, you know, 3960. You know, if it really could get some momentum to pop through there, I thought it would go, you know, a dollar or two. Well, sure enough, that's exactly what happened today. And I didn't get in it. I was watching and watching and watching and we had a little bit of selling out of the open and then off to the races she was. She just ran, ran, ran. And I missed that move. So I was kind of hoping for a pullback so I can get in. So we had this nice little run up and I wanted to play the candle over candle. We had the little selling off. I, I This would have been the better play, this candle over candle, but I missed that one. So inside this candle, I was looking for the break of this candle and hopefully to go high of day. Uh, it didn't work out that way for me, but I still made a profit. So as it broke, you know, 419, 420 area, that's what I was looking for. I decided to go long, 2,000 shares, and I sold at the very top here um, only 100 shares at 41.29, sold the rest at 41.21. It started to come down pretty hard, so I made basically two cents off of that. 40 bucks and it sold off and then it started to curl back up but uh, it didn't do what I wanted it to do I wanted to break this candle go high a day get up here at 4150 maybe test 4150 it just didn't do that so um, you gotta you gotta take what the market gives you and um, it didn't do what I planned it doing so I got out so I played our GSC again, but it was basically an even play. Uh, got in, got out. It really didn't work out for me. But uh, the next one that I thought was really interesting looking was SAEX. You might remember this one from way back when, <laughs> about a month and a half ago. It went from $10 to $49 in one day, and then the very next day it went from 32 to 75 that's just a massive move. So a lot of people have been watching this one as a they know the stock can get moving when it does. And you know, uh, a couple of days ago it did move. It went from six dollars to ten fifty. That's a pretty big move. But since then it's kind of sold off from there. And it was on my radar. I mean, I'm just you know I, I kind of keep an eye on it just in case volume starts coming in again. So I was watching it. Uh, it did sell off in the open, but then, you know, right as we got this curl here, some nice volume started coming in. I don't know if it was short covering. You know, they're taking their profits now and getting out, but volume just looked good. So we had this kind of a move up here, and it kind of just consolidated. So I was looking for the next five-minute candle over candle to get this thing going. And if you were on stock twits, you would have seen my post. Uh, here at 11.08, I was saying, starting to curl, this could get running fast, and 11.08 is over here, um, right here, I was kind of watching this kind of consolidation, looking for that little candle over candle in the five minute, and that's exactly what happened, once we got candle over candle, boom, this thing just ran another dollar, dollar thirty, so I got in, uh, as we got this candle over candle, I got in at 819, basically 820. I sold half at 825, and I sold the rest at 827, just inside, you know, as this move was going up. For a nice little win there. 
And of course, I mean, as you can see, volume really started to pour in there on this move up. Could have made a lot more, but I was just scalping the play. It was a good play. So I went back to RGSE. I mean, at this time, the five minute candle play is kind of, it's not going to be as strong, uh, especially right here. We had a, you know, we had a pop, sell off, and then candle over candle, but this move just didn't go anywhere. It went from 490 to 490, or yeah, 490 to 499, and then kind of sold off some more. So it's actually looking kind of red, in my opinion, because we started getting lower lows through here on the five minute. But I was noticing that I'd give it one more, sh I was going to give it one more shot because it has to sell off, but it came right back up. It would sell off, but it would come right back up. So I thought maybe it had one more move left in it, and I was up on the day, so I was willing to take this trade. So I was going to look for another candle over candle. Um, we were kind of getting it right here. Uh, but this is where I was. I got in at 488 in the, anticipation, in the anticipation of this break here. We broke it, and it jumped up to 490. Actually, jumped up to 498. And uh, it came right back down real quick, and I just I wanted to take my five cents, so I took my hundred bucks left. It did get up to, you know, five twenty inside of this move, but I was happy with the win. I tried RGSE a couple more times, seeing if we could break this five twenty level. Uh, it broke it, but it didn't go anywhere real fast, so um, I decided to get out. Uh, it did need to consolidate, sell off some more. And now it's just going completely crazy as we're sitting here talking. And this would be a nice little setup, right? So as we're sitting here, volume's really starting to pour in here. We had uh, candle over candle. We're still making candle over candle. Okay, so now, now we're having a sell-off here, which is great. And this would be a good place to play over 585 for a nice little move back up. Um, if we get it, if you don't, it just needs to consolidate a little bit more. There's a lot of people still stuck up here, maybe that might get nervous and start selling, but, uh, I'll definitely be watching for this move on the curl back up and maybe we'll get towards six. This has been a really strong mover today. So something that is probably the only one I'm really watching unless some kind of news comes out, but just look at this volume. I mean, this is great volume for lunchtime or afternoon plays. I mean, inside of five minutes, you got 600,000, 500,000, 800,000, 800,000, 700,000 volume. That's really good. So definitely keeping on this, keeping, keeping watch on this guy right here. And I did play uh, RGSE some more and AERI some more, but those were my main wins today. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut this down now so I can really just keep an eye on this guy right here. But um, yeah, guys, I hope you made some good trades today follow me on stock twits uh, be sure to get benzinga news i mean that's a huge help on how to make money it takes a little bit of money of you know just to invest in the product but you know they have monthly packages that they have quarterly packages i have the yearly package it's definitely something that i would suggest as as well as those chat rooms chat rooms can move these low float stocks it is crazy but you got to keep in mind, the whole market is a pump and dump. The, the entire market is a pump and dump. Just like those low float newsletters, you know, that you get in the morning that come out at 930 and they say, this stock is the one to buy. You know, it's just a pump. But pumps happen all over the market. As soon as you get your head wrapped around the idea that the whole stock market is one big pump and dump, it'll change your viewpoint on it and you'll become profitable probably faster. Someone's pumping a stock, so you buy it, so they make money. You just don't want to be that guy caught with the bag in his hand. Anyway, guys, that's just my little little, you know, podium speech for the day. I'm getting off here. I'm going to watch this guy play out for the rest of the day. Hope you made some money. I'll see you guys tomorrow.